hello my youtube family hope all is well hope you are having a blessed week so far and before i even go any further i just want to say um thank you to all the new subscribers welcome to my little um i guess my world praise god of bible study and i hope something is uh set to encourage you uh throughout these bible study praise god and today we're going to continue on um first samuel chapter 23 we're going to finish up on this today we're going to start from uh verse 19 through 29 praise god and remember last week we spoke about david how uh he was hiding from saul in the wilderness and um how uh saul's son jonathan went to see him so we're picking up from there praise god and i will link the video to last week's lesson if you haven't seen that as yet praise god so we're in first samuel chapter 23 starts at verse 19 then came up the ziphites to saul to gibeon saying doth not david hide himself with us in strongholds in the woods in the hill of asija which is on the south of jeshimon so here uh, we know that um, David is hiding in the wilderness and the Ziphite, which is in an area called Ziph, praise God, went to see Saul and to tell Saul where David was. And he said, now therefore, O king, come down according to all the desires of thy soul to come down and our part shall be to deliver him into the king's hand. And Saul said, Blessed be he of the Lord, for he had compassion on me. So Saul here is happy that someone he believes is on his side has tell as um, given him good news as to the whereabouts of David. And he said, Go, I pray you, prepare yet, and know and see his place where his heart is, and who had seen him there, for it is told me that he dealeth very subtly so um saul is letting this um this ziphite know that he should go ahead and find out where exactly david is in the wilderness and that he know david you know can be very subtle david david is very smart so he wants to know the whereabout of david praise god see therefore and take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hideth himself and come ye again to me with the certainty and I will go with you and it shall come to pass that if he be in the land that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. So Saul is letting that young man know that if he do find out where David is that he needs to come back and let him know and he will go out and search for him. And they arose and went to Ziph before Saul but David and his men were in the wilderness of Maon in the plain on the south of Jeshimon. Saul also and his man went to seek him and they told David wherefore he came down into a rock and abode in the wilderness of Maon. And when Saul heard that, he pursued after David in the wilderness of Maon. So David moved to another wilderness, the wilderness of Maon this time and Saul knows of his whereabouts. So now we're seeing Saul now in the pursuit for David. And Saul went on the side of the mountain and David and his men on that side of the mountain. And David made haste to get away for fear of Saul. For Saul and his man come past David and his man round about to take, to take them. But there came a messenger unto Saul saying, haste thee and come for the Philistines have invade the land. So we're seeing God intervening here because Saul now had, um, He's now in the vicinity where David is, and he's about to capture him, but um, God, God, praise God, intervene, hallelujah, with a messenger to let Saul know that the Philistines has invaded his land. So we know that that wasn't a coincidence, praise God, that it is by the divine intervention of God that Saul, hallelujah, had to make haste and leave. Praise God. Wherefore, Saul, Saul returned from pursuing after David and went again, went against the Philistines. Therefore, they called that place Shil Shilimakethol. Ooh, that's a long word. <laughs> you see, it's a long word of where that place is called. And David went up from hence and dwelt in strongholds of 
Engedi. Praise God. So we're seeing here, hallelujah, how God continues to protect and to keep David. Praise God. Even though Saul is pursuing him, even though the enemy is pursuing him, praise God. We always are victorious in God because we have a God that is always looking over us, always protecting us, always leading us. Praise God. And we see that he does that here. For David, praise God, we know that David consult the Lord. David always seek the advice of God to tell him where to go, to give him guidance and direction. Praise God. And this, this is a, a lesson to us as well. Praise God that we also need to always consult God in everything we do, even if it feels small and minute. Praise God. We always consult him so he can lead and direct us in what to do, what to say, to use wisdom. Praise God. And David, we are seeing here the making as we are studying of, of a king here. Praise God. Now God is preparing him. Praise God. And I don't know what... Uh, uh, God may be preparing you for something as well in your life. You know, this is a lesson to encourage us never to give up, never to allow fear to cripple us. Praise God, but that we always move forward, always seeking the guidance of God every step of the way. Praise God, and he will make sure we will be victorious. Praise God. So I hope something was said to encourage you. I hope something was said, hallelujah, to keep you on the path of, of the straight and narrow, to keep going forward no matter what is happening in your life, no matter what the enemy is throwing your way, you continue to move forward in God, knowing that God is with you. Praise God. I thank God, hallelujah, that whenever trouble come or whenever um, I have to do something new and I know that the enemy is attacking, praise God, I can always, you know, count on God, uh, knowing that his word is encouraging, his word gives me peace to continue to go forth. Praise God and not allow me to, you know, get discouraged and give up. Praise God. And that's the spirit we need to have, the spirit of not fearing, the spirit, you know, of, of, um, of being strong, the spirit uh, of being fearless. Praise God, knowing that God is with us and that we can do all things through him. Praise God who gives us the strength. Hallelujah. In my prayer, in my devotion, I should say this morning, I was um, reading the scripture that says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. It's good to remember the scriptures, praise God, because those scriptures, praise God, they encourage you, hallelujah, to recognize and remember who you are in God, praise God, so you're able to climb any mountain, praise God, whatever the devil, devil throws at you, you're able to overcome, praise God, because you have the word, which is the strength, which is the power, which is the fortitude, the fortitude, hallelujah, that keeps us going, that helps us to persevere. Praise God. Trust in God that he is with us. Praise God. So I just thank God for David. I love him. He's one of my favorite character. Praise God because he had such courage. He had uh, such a character. Praise God. He had such peace in God. He always trust and depend on God. I love him. Praise God. And you know, always when we pray, we always pray hallelujah to have an excellent spirit a spirit to always trust and to follow god no matter what the situation look like no matter what is happening in our life or what's happening around us praise god if we keep our eyes on jesus if we keep focusing on him hallelujah he will help us along the way praise god so i thank god for the study on today praise god and i pray something was said to help you hallelujah as you Keep continuing on the path of God. Hallelujah. Keeping your focus on him. Always praise God. And as I leave, I always say, remember Jesus loves you and don't you forget it. Until next time. Bye now.